All right. Hello, sketchbook heroes and sketchbook warriors. Here we are with another battle tonight in March. And in just in time, we've got some uh, some Irish stuff. Some uh, let's see. So let's take a look. Let's share my screen and see what we're going to be drawing tonight. We're going to start off with his hat. Very nice hat. Uh, it's got form, but we're going to use shapes to kind of define that form. And then we've got uh, we've got uh, Snoopy uh, with some more shamrock stuff. But we're going to actually take a little break from that. Uh, where'd my drawings go? Oh, I think I lost them. Uh, we're going to, oh, uh, some birds. We're going to do some birds and, uh, oh, the bird, 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 and uh, and some flowers. So we're going to stick them in there. Well, if I can find them. Oh, there they are. They're right here. Our simple flowers. I can find them. Ta-da. Simple flowers. Oh. And then Snoopy. And then uh, this cat. Actually, ooh, we'll probably do this cat before Snoopy because this cat's, I think, a little more simple. We're trying to go from simple to complex. Uh, Snoopy is pretty tough. And then, yeah, this one's pretty tough, too. So uh, they, yeah, we'll get to going. And it's all relative. It's all relative. So it's, what might be easy for you might be hard for somebody else. And what might be hard for you might be easy for somebody else. So it's all relative. Uh, we'll see what, what uh, if we can get some of those in there. Um, we'll see what we can do. Not not a lot of drawings, but I'm sure they'll take quite a bit of time. There's a, there's our bird. So we'll start off with this one. Let's break it down. So what shapes do you see? We have a question. Uh, Zentangles are so much fun. Yes, they are. Zentangles, look that up. Be curious. It's time to be curious. Zentangles. All right. Uh, Zentangles.com. Oh, and then a lot of different designs. Ah, we're getting more people coming on in. All right, so you're just in time. Uh, we've just finished our chit chat. We're going to break this drawing down. They're looking for the biggest shape that we can see. And the biggest shape is, I, I see the square here. Um, and there's more around. I mean, actually, I can see a rectangle. I can see the biggest shape I can see is, is this, this uh, the, whole, the whole thing is kind of almost square. So it's a little more on the rectangle side, but you can see this. If I put a big giant square on it, you can see it's a little bit wider. And this kind of helps us um, get things where they need to go. If I were to draw this bigger, smaller, and then we've got this square right here. Look at that one right there. Bam, that square, that whole top hat is square. Now I can use that square and bring that down here. And I can see that the bottom is a half a square. So the, the whole height, the top is a square, the bottom half is half a square. And those are my ratios. Those are those are the things I'm kind of seeing. I'm trying to see the big shapes, not worried about the small stuff. And then uh, ooh, another one shape that I see that's really nice. It's a big shape is that circle. What circle? Yes, there's a circle there uh, where the clover is. There's a circle here. So you can see that circle now. Bam, right in there. And, that, and another square in here with that buckle. A little more of a rectangle, but really close to a square. And uh, you can see that right in there. Look at that. And then you can see how it overlaps. It's almost even cut in half by the hat itself. And you can see this angle, uh, the square here, the angle, the top, the way it teeters. And the, this is actually more than just a shape. It's a form. This is a, would be a uh, cylinder kind of form. And it tapers. It tapers. It's a tapered cylinder, just kind of like this bottle here. But it tapers. It actually goes out more like, a, let me see, do I have Oh, a cup? <laughs> I have a red cup here. Uh... This one tapers a little bit, and that's what the hat is doing. The hat is doing that cylinder, and it tapers. All right. I think uh, let's uh, let's screenshot this, put it in the chat, and sketch our first drawing for the night. Uh, I didn't get through. I didn't go through them, huh? I didn't. Well, we got more drawings. Capture that, and then, um, okay, send that in. Uh, let's see. And uh, oh, let me clear that out and show you the rest of the drawings we're doing tonight. So you can fast forward or rewind. Um, we, I don't know if we're going to get to do all of them. Ooh, oh, ah, all right. Well, we'll just jump into it. Yeah, we've got a lot of drawings tonight. All right, let's see. Here we go. Let's jump in to what we're going to do. Here we go. Uh, upside down. All right, so I did see that uh, the square. We can start off with that big square if you want to, or the little square. Uh, let's start off with a big square. Because that's interesting, because um, sometimes it's really hard to see. But um, seeing that big square, you can see that uh, I can say, OK, it's going to fit on my page. There it's going to fit. And I know it's going to come out a little bit on this side and a little bit on that side. This is the big square. This is the big square where the whole kind of drawing kind of fits in, right, to the one that I kind of did. And I just sketched it out, did a quick sketch, practice drawing squares, practice looking for squares, if that's where you're at, until it becomes automatic. Uh, and then uh, you can see the smaller square in here. Uh, let's see. I'm using an HB pencil. It doesn't matter when you're first learning to draw what you're using. 
It really doesn't, but there's a smaller square in here. And again, remember that smaller square is half of that square is probably underneath. So if we were to divide this into thirds, it's yeah, there would be a third somewhere. It's probably a little bit bigger because that this bottom half should be about half that square up here. So I'm making it a little bit bigger. And this is doing it, I'm doing it all pretty light. Zoom out a little bit. Doing it all pretty light. Let's move the camera in. I'm doing it pretty light. I would go lighter. And just really quickly kind of seeing where everything kind of goes. And then down here, this is half a square. So here's my half a square. That's down here too. So there it is. This is where the hat is going to be. Right, so here's my square. So if you just start off with a square, that's fine. The top part is the uh, the top of the hat, the top of the hat, and it's rounded just like this. Bang! Look at I'm using my wrist. I'm using my wrist to kind of get that uh, line. And there's a it's a pretty thick line too. It's a pretty thick line. Then we've got our angles here. I'm gonna just uh, sketch it in because uh, because there's a flower there. I'm gonna sketch it in lightly does go out a bit. So I'm going to bring it out a little bit more. Then, but it comes down to, to that square. Because that flower is right in here. And it's about halfway. That halfway point, it's right in there. Halfway. And I would say that right, the flower. It's not a flower. The clover. Our four-leaf clover. Clover. Shamrock. 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 Ah, it's a shamrock. Hey, I actually, I was, I've been doing this puzzle. And I, don't not, I haven't gotten the first letter. But the, the the last letters are Ollie, O-L-L-Y. And it has to do with uh, Irish. I've tried Molly. I've tried Golly, Jolly. But I don't know. It has to do with, um, uh, yeah, it has to do with, with St. Patrick's Day or something. I don't know. I've tried Jolly. It didn't work. I just have to guess, uh, keep plugging in letters. Uh, but the game doesn't let me. I have to kind of buy coins. and <laughs> I love games. All right. Anyways. All right. We've got the top of the hat. We've got this here. We've got the brim, or not the brim. This is the uh, this is the, where the buckle is. It kind of starts straightening out. You get this angle, and then it kind of starts straightening out. So you've got this angle, and down here it just starts really start straightening out. Oh, straightening out. So it can, you kind of see it going at that angle, and then it straightens out down here, and then it goes, and then there's a, a nice little. Uh, it's almost straight, but it it should curve. This one actually curves the other way, curves up. Oh, huh, that's interesting. So this is kind of echoing that top. So it kind of goes up a little bit and then down. It's not completely straight across, but it's uh, something like that. There we go. And then we got the buckle that kind of goes in here, right about there. And I'm sketching it in lightly, kind of blocking it in. There is um, ooh, that swirl in here. There's a swirl. Uh, for the brim. That's the brim. Claudio? Yes. Your crossword puzzle, do you just need the first letter? Or there? Yeah, I just, just need the one, first letter. Just one um, one empty space left, huh? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, 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 what is it? <laughs> I, I don't know what it is, but... I looked up, I tried golly, and go, is it golly? I don't know. I think it was uh, molly. Molly, yeah, there's something in Irish, but M didn't work. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just have to keep plugging away. <laughs> I'll get it. I'll get it. All right. Yeah, I know. It's it's kind of interesting. Ah, my blade. Well, I can use this one. I'm gonna sharpen my sharpen my uh my pencil. Oh yeah, this is a nice blade. I'm doing it off screen. There we go. Gave it a little a little sharpen. Got some, rid of some wood. Um, here the flow of this line, the way it flows around, it's it's a, almost like a tiered shape. This tear shape, you can kind of see it the way it swoops, swoops around. And this is why it's important to kind of see uh, the flow of line. Uh, here you can see this kind of flow around this way, the hat, kind of that brim come out. Uh, this is almost straight on this side at an angle, kind of going up and then around and then up and around. I can probably bring it in slightly. And then you can see the inside of that hat, that uh, brim. And they put a thickness onto it. That's interesting. There's a thickness onto it. Hmm. All right. Okay. That's it. Let's uh, just start um, thickening it up, thickening up these lines. Uh, before I do that, actually, let's start off with the uh, shamrock here. So uh, there, I can see a shamrock here. There's uh, one, uh, I guess, petal 
we got the four pedals, one pedal on this side, another pedal on this side. And notice I'm sketching. So there were some questions. Yeah, where's my questions at? Somebody, uh, people added questions uh, as they signed up. Uh, something about sketching and drawing. Yeah, there is a difference. There is a difference. Oh, here's my questions for tonight. These are all of them. Somebody, there was the first person asked for flowers, shapes and forms. That's what we're using. Cartoons, facial expressions. Oh, um, I don't know if we can get, we'll probably maybe next week. Facial expressions, not tonight. Uh, basics of sketching. Yes. So this is it. Basics of sketching is just finding the shapes and practicing and, and just scribbling it. Drawing is a little more, a little more like finished, finished pieces, but sketching is, this is the important part. This is the part you don't really see the sketching. We're just sketching, scribbling, getting those shapes in there. So I've got my four petals in there. That's kind of why I went to my, uh, my notes here. Uh, what people were requesting even had somebody, a regular, ask for Harley Quinn. That's a tough one. Uh, but if you really want some your drawings to get a chance to, to be drawn, you got to put them. You got to put them in to our our uh, our meetup. All right, we're going to break down this uh, this clover now. You can see I broke it down into the four leaves, the four the four petals. Are they? No, they're leaves. Huh? They're, these are leaves on the shamrock. All right, so they're, they're kind of like a heart shape. You can kind of see, and there's a, is there any overlapping? Yeah, there is overlapping. This one goes on top. This one's going on top. Yeah, this one here, the one on the right. So this one's going on top, and it's in a heart shape in this spot right here. See, now everything else here I sketched really lightly, and then uh, you can actually sketch it lighter. But now I can go darker in here, or even use a marker and, and start uh, getting that uh, shamrock shape. And it overlaps this way. It's kind of overlapping it the other way. I can switch it where this is in front, just by this little thing curving in front, this part, it goes in front and then this is behind. And then this is on top, this, this, uh, this part of that leaf is on top. So there's my heart, my first heart of the night. And then we got a little wrinkle in the middle, kind of curving right in there. There it is. Now we got this one, the top one, and the top one kind of goes in here. It fits right in there, and it's a shape of a heart. And the lines are pretty thick, which kind of helps with um, if you're you know, you can adjust, make adjustments. Nice bold, thick lines. You can make adjustments. Uh, if you did it too small, you can make it bigger. Get it to fit, make it look good. We got this other line in here, another little wrinkle in the middle. We got two of our hearts done. Two hearts down, halfway there, two more to go. All right, the one on the left. And, and this is just, uh, if we even break it down further, it's just two circles here. We can put two circles there, say two circles. You got to see those shapes, those two circles there. And then, um, and then this one kind of going around the heart shape goes around those circles like that, bam. Yeah, learning how to break things down, learning how to see shapes within shapes. And, and it all really comes down to circles and squares. Circles and squares. If you can see circles and squares, maybe there's a hundreds of other shapes, but uh, breaking it down to circles and squares is, is a way to simplify. Whoa! There goes that pencil tip. Just lost a whole lot of lead. A whole lot of love. Down, down, down. <laughs> Led Zeppelin song. All right, let's do the last left. Okay, here, if you notice, observe this. This is this part of this leaf is is on top. That one's on top. Yeah, there you go. It goes on top, and then behind is this part of the leaf. That way it goes that around that way. Bam. All right, and then we've got the the last wrinkle right in here. If we need to make the lines thicker, we can make them thicker. They're pretty bold. These lines are pretty bold. Then we got the stem, stem in here. There we go, that stem, which goes, oh, I think it's, um, I'm at the wrong angle or something because it needs to go in further, but that's okay. That's okay. I might, uh, let's see if I want to get it accurate because the, the, the hat actually comes out to here underneath this as I'm looking. And I can start straightening it out. See, I can straighten it out if I want to be more accurate because the, the hat I see comes out right under this part of that clover. Right under that part of that clover. There we go. And then 
than the brim. Ooh. And I'm using my wrist <clears throat> to get that line. Notice how it curves, it curves up. There it is, it comes across that way. Bam. All right, let's zoom out a little bit. All right, let's see. Let's get the rest of this hat going. <clears throat> <laughs> oh my shamrocks oh my lucky charms there we go man just thickening up the line there we go bam and then what we got the, the little 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 buckle here We're making it a little wider looking and looking to see how it fits in there just getting it wider. It actually does come, well, yeah, it comes right to down to that thickness of that line in there. And it is a bit of a rectangle. It's not a perfect square. And that's ratios. Ratios, ratio. The ratio, the height compared to the width. If it's a one-to-one, -one, it's a square or a circle. Same height, same width. This one's a little bit thinner. And then we can put the square inside that or the rectangle the rectangle inside that buckle and feel free to color it feel free to make more oh i'm not going anywhere uh a nice place to go i don't know they have a couple of uh, irish pubs uh in seal beach seal beach is the place to be on friday <laughs> st patrick's falls on friday this year very nice all right, the bottom part of our hat. Or you can go to McSorley's. McSorley's. Where's that at? That's uh, in the East Village. Ah. It's right near uh, Cooper Union. You uh -huh. We had, we Lottie. had. A... Yes. Um, someone's asking for a posting of the picture we're drawing. In... Oh, okay. I shall post it again. All right, I can do it. Oh, it's I still have it uh, cut up or broken down. There it goes. One more time. My yeah. father used to joke that there was a parade on his birthday because his birthday <laughs> was March 17th. Nice. But he's he's gone six years now. So. Oh, sorry to hear that. Yeah. He would if he was still alive, he'd be over a hundred. So. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's good. All right, so um, this top line here, this top line goes from, uh, it's really interesting, comes from inside the hat because there's this thickness to this brim. There's like a, this width. It's really interesting. And it just whips around. And they've, they're really, actually, if you look at the flow of the line, this flow of the line. And so it's going on, on top and it starts really thin. And then it thickens up as it comes up this way. As it comes up this way, the line thickens up. And it gets pretty thick. It's really thick up here. So I'm thickening up that line as I'm going up here. Be better to do with a marker. But it's all good. It's good practice to try even just to, you know, you can see trying to push your 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 materials, what you have. If you don't have a marker, okay, I'm going to try to thicken it up. And then when you get to use a marker, you appreciate, you know, you get to appreciate like, oh, yeah, this is, you know, <laughs> this, is a, this is different. This is a using the marker I can, I can bring out a marker but uh, yeah there's this thickness of line yeah you can really appreciate your materials but it's good to struggle a little bit it's good to struggle a little bit sometimes sometimes for a bit all right here we go and then uh the bottom of this hat so this bottom of the hat kind of comes uh, starts right here on this side and then it goes under and it's kind of parallel so uh, it goes a little bit wider here it's thinner for some reason and then here it goes wider but it flows it really flows as i'm as i'm drawing this line i'm look I'm, as i'm drawing this line i'm looking at the line above it then it comes down and it gets closer to it as it goes further away because it's going actually back into space over here back into space and uh it's a little more pointy so i'm going to put a little bit more of a point on that shape here on this side for the hat notice how i just pulled that out pulling it out and I can pull it out more because of the thickness of the line, the bold line here. I'm happy with that. Oops, move the hat over. 
There it goes. And then just get that bottom part and that bottom line. Yeah, keep on the lookout for pictures. Post people, post. We have the same two, three people posting pictures. So find a picture you want to draw. Get it up there. And that way, you know, you choose whatever you're struggling with or having trouble. Then you can actually even try to draw it on your own and then come back and see how we break it down and see, you know, practice, practice, practice. That's what we really do tonight. We just practice. We don't have the lessons all. I don't have the lessons um, all pointed out. I don't go through every, every little thing, everything you need to practice. But those lessons are coming soon. The first videos should be up by the by the end of the month. We're going to have an inauguration in a couple of weeks for the first videos. Say, hey, there it is. It's it's almost like a infinity sign. You can see the eight, uh, like an eight, uh, really interesting, kind of the way it swirls. But it's uh, it really is almost just like a circle shape. And there's like a little bit of a shadow underneath here or something. I don't know what's going on. We can put a little bit of shade. If you want to do some shading, a little practice shading, you can put some shading here underneath the hat, just back and forth. It's, that's hatching. Yeah, somebody else asked for uh, shading techniques. Was it shading? Let me see. Mountains, beach. No, actually, oh, drawing and sketching. Oh, I thought I saw somebody with shading. Oh, shadows. They talked about shadows. Oh, yeah, shadows. So, yeah, it depends on where your light source is. I mean, I wouldn't worry about sh shading and shadows. All that stuff's really just, uh, you really wor worry about the structure first. If you're ready for shadows, then you go go there. Well, I just will talk a little bit about shadows on this one. Um, this is just a, a value. I'm adding the the uh, tone of the uh, that. And if there was a light source from this way, let's say a light source coming from the, the right then uh, depending on where it's at, you would have a shadow on the left side. I'm going to put one right in here. It would, this half would be in shade. And you would just go a little bit darker here. I'm going to go a little bit darker on up to that line. Right in there. Bam. And then uh, I'm going to bring that also up on the hat right in there. See, it's, uh, there's a little bit of an angle. And then I'm going to shade that top half of that. All in there. That'll make that uh, shamrock pop a little bit by putting a little bit of shade in the back. But I usually don't worry about the shade. I mean, this helps with shapes. You can help see that. But you really want to see the structure first. Focus on structure. When you Once you get it, an, a good idea of learning how to draw, then you would do that. And this would probably give a shadow. So you probably have a shadow from the shamrock there. It's light and up. Hard. I'm maybe even under here too. A little bit of a shadow under that. There we go. There we go. That's it. Oh, let's zoom out. I think we're done. Ta da! First drawing of the night. Whoa. Man, give yourself a, a hand and a hat. All right. Bolly, Collie, Dolly, Folly, Golly. A name. Tolly, a name. Wally, almost every consonant works. Yeah. But which one has, which one's related to, uh, to, St. Patrick's is the question. All right. I don't know. None none of them particularly. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I've been struggling. I mean, there, there are certainly some that are related to England. Oh, but really? Yeah. I don't see any that are St. Patrick's. -y. Let me bring out my game. <laughs> my my little addiction here. Well, this is my, it's my little break that I take. Here we go. <laughs> you can see. Oh, okay. So yeah, I made it all the way to level um, eleven. I just need twelve, I guess. And there's the there's the pot of gold, right in there. Press play. Yeah, you can see Golly, Holly, Molly, and I've used those and I've run out of letters already, but I've got Golly, Holly, Molly, and then I actually uh, had to actually buy some more, uh, but I earned them. I didn't use real money. Uh, I don't know. Some. Uh, let me see if I have it here. Anyways, let's get to the drawing. <laughs> Little little side. Oh, here it is. Oh no, that's not it. That's a different one. Let me see if I have it on this. Uh, could be. Oh no, it's not here. That's all good. All right, let's let's get to the next drawing. Uh, share my screen. Welcome for just joining us. Here we go. We had we had somebody just came in a little late. All right, we got more people coming in. Forty people signed up. We're about halfway there. 
Uh, let's see, annotate. Uh, let's clear our drawings. Clear, clear all drawings. All right. Hey, I say clear. Uh oh. Oh, that's why it's not a drawing. This is an image. Uh, that's my copy. <laughs> all right, here we go. What did I say we were going to do? Uh, we're going to go with the bird or we're going to go with, uh, oh, flowers, simple flowers. Actually, that would probably be a good, um, good little segue from the shamrocks to these flowers. All right. So this, I really like these flowers here. Oh, it's a video. How to draw flowers step by step. No video. Here it is. So what I can do, let's see, right click, copy image address. Well, yeah, copy image address. Paste it up here. Paste. There we go. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So again, just like we draw anything, we look at the big shapes. You want to see the big shapes. Here you can definitely like, okay, wait a minute. What are the big shapes? They're just pe these pentagon shapes, right? There's these pentagon shapes. Oh, look at I can break it down here. There's one, two, three, four. Actually, it's not pentagon. Five. Pentagon is five and six. What is six? Okay, Google. No, it's not working. Yeah, I know. I know. Hexagon. <laughs> hexagon. 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 You can also try unplugging yes, the device, yes, yes. plugging it back in. Okay, thanks for your help. <laughs> Still have a fixture. All right, so yeah, there you go. Let me see one, two. Advanced two squares because you got hexagon. What's that? Advanced two squares because you got hexagon. Oh, thank you. Dang. <laughs> advanced two squares just kidding <laughs> all right here we go let's see one two three four five six oh yeah that's another hexagon right in there and it's good to see you kind of like use that uh, uh, you know um x-ray vision there and i can actually put a circle there too circles work because uh, you can see that if you're just sketching it out you can see boom there's a circle i mean but that circle's broken down into six spots oh another thing good to see because it's six six is an even number uh you'd be able to break that down into um uh, find the axis lines that also helps so if you find this axis line here you can see that axis line there another axis line here and that you can see those triangles you see that that actually also helps bam that, that right there so all this stuff really helps even seeing these big shapes up in here almost like an oval shape Another oval shape. Let's get those. Oh, wow. I don't think I can do my oval shapes at that angle. Uh, but yeah, you have this like oval shape. Yeah, that's no, not going to work. Uh, uh, all right. Let's screenshot that and let's get it out there. We got something in the chat. In the meantime, a uh, hexagon. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sometimes I'm using my left brain, <laughs> my right brain. That's actually left brain is more lit. They say, but you know what? The, the, uh, the latest. Uh, studies say there's no real left brain right brain there's areas of the brain so i go audio all right josh thank you for joining us You're welcome we'll see you next time all right let's do our flowers all right 717 there we go oh actually 720 here wow all righty all right oh yeah we started at 6 30 let's see price alert oh, cosmos is up adam adam up and at him. All right, uh, let's get let's get this going. All right. Oh, I would I would um here. Let's stop sharing. Uh, for this one, you know, I didn't say, mention the circles, but the circles are there. I would use that circles just to get started. You know, um, you can see that's a circle. The circle shape of that flower. It's right in there, and then you can draw the hexagon on top of it. But you can get one flower there, another flower right underneath it, and it's it's right uh, here's look at. I can see this as a clock, uh, three o'clock, nine o'clock on this side, 12 and six, right below, um, right below three o'clock is where this other flower is going to be, this other petal or flower, yeah, it's flower, it's underneath, it's a little smaller, and it, it's almost to the six o'clock as well, right under there, so this kind of helps me get the proportions, that was another one of our Ah, somebody asked for proportions, proportions. How do you do proportions? Well, you see one shape and see how the shapes relate. How do the shapes relate, right? You don't want to make it blow it out of proportion. So this is proportions. Somebody asked that question when you joined the meetup. 
uh, you get you ask you can ask questions i try to get capture them i try to you know these are all going to be um um these are all going to be categories on our website that way i can say oh okay here if you want to draw you know birds and bees and whatever you want to draw you, i can i can point you to that area all right, let's get our hexagon in here. Now, what's interesting about our hexagon is uh, this line here, get that angle on one side and the other angle on this side is uh, they're parallel. These two lines are parallel. So this line and that line are parallel. So th that's a good thing to see. And then you've got um, uh, these two angles, uh, basically a triangle. Actually, th these two angles like right in here and in here, right? We can break that down into two now. See, boom. And um, if it's they, these, all these sides should be the same, um, same length. So if you have to bring it in a little bit, you can bring it in. If you have to bring it out, bring it out. You can make your adjustments. You can make your adjustments. But uh, seeing these two parallel lines, parallel, <laughs> seeing these two parallel lines helps. Uh, is then we get uh, then we get this down here down the middle of that. See that middle. This line actually would be parallel as well. It's really interesting. I, I really like seeing uh, geometric shapes and playing with them and seeing how they they um, how they kind of go and stuff. So uh, this line here, which is kind of at an angle, it's not straight up and down. There's a slight angle to it. Is parallel on this side as well. It's parallel on this side. So this side and this side parallel. And then you have uh, this top part and this bottom part parallel as well. It's going up. And this should be going up or going down, depending on your direction. But um, there's, I just blocked it in. See, I blocked in that uh, that row of flower. And then I know some, if I want to find the middle, look at that. I can just uh, just get these uh, corners. There's my triangles, and then I can see my my petal in the middle or the uh, what is that? The uh, Mario, I don't think you put it in the chat. Oh. Oh, I put it to Ellen. <laughs> All right, hold on. Oh, sorry. Oh. Oh, no. There we go. Let me try it one more time. But I, oh, I'm i going to have to download it and then upload it. Yeah, here we go. Let me. Here we go. Yeah. Sometimes when people send me messages, uh, then I th their name gets stuck. So I can't. Uh... Thank you. Here we go. There it is. That's capture. And it's now it's in the chat. See, I wouldn't have been able to do that if I didn't put it up. So I said, yeah, let's just put it up. Oh, because somebody, oh, yeah, they were giving me the answers. Thank you. And they did it privately. That's very, very thoughtful. That's interesting. Yeah. Feedback. How do you handle feedback? You know, that's I just saw somebody posted their their drawing and they said, oh, you know, they, they were they didn't like posting because of some of the harsh criticism they were getting. And that's the thing. Everybody it's easy to have, you know, criticism can kill creativity if you let it, you know, and, and, and being sensitive to that and being open to even you have to be open to, to, to some feedback, you know, to improve. You know, so a lot of times it's it shows you in the drawing. But a lot of times, sometimes, sometimes some people don't know how to do that, uh, give you proper feedback. And I sometimes, I'm guilty of that too. Uh, I'm like, oh, but I uh, always want to look for the good. Look for the good when you're doing feedback, what's good about it. And then uh, the warm the warm feedback first. And then the cool feedback. How can they improve? You know, you, you need to give it some constructive feedback, not just destructive. So much feedback is destructive. He said, oh, that sucks. Or, this is not, that's not good. I'm like, okay, well, how can you make it better? How can you, how would you, oh, I don't know. I just know it's not, I just know what I don't like. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, that's not, that's not a good answer, really. It's not, it's just, then just, uh, I don't know. Anyways, just my two cents. All right, we're going to, right in the middle of that, that's actually, ooh, our, our petals, our petals are actually uh, right in the center here, actually. So if you, we'll do our first petal, we'll do the top petal here. This top petal is in the middle of those triangles, kind of kind of coming out this way. So um, we can see how that petal is uh, formed. Uh, it's really just three circles here, three circles at the, at, the, at the ends. You don't have to do these circles, but if you see them, they, it helps. I'll just do it on this first petal. Uh, let's zoom in. 
thing. All right, cool. So there, there's kind of like these three circles there at that, that tip. And so when you do draw this, you just go kind of like around, you're kind of going around those circles, around the outside, around the outside. Believe it or not, I was watching 80 for Brady yesterday. Interesting. With my friend. All right, we didn't finish seeing the whole thing. We've, we just watched the first one hour and 15 minutes. So we got to see the rest of it. I think I might be exaggerating the, the, the circles a little bit. But that's also another triangle there, too. Oh. All right, there we go. There's that one. Let's do this other one. This other shape. Oh, got to get that circle in the middle. Got to get that circle in the middle first. Make sure you're getting this circle in the middle. You can see it, how big it is compared to the outside as well. You, some um, I, I can always see somebody somebody's going to do it bigger, somebody's going to do it smaller. That's just the proportions. That's just the proportion. If we can check it, um, you can see uh, how big it is um, as it goes out. I would say it's two times. So let's see. Ooh, where's uh, two times on? Here we go. Here's a, a post-it. I say two. Let's see what it is. Boom, boom, boom. Here's the width. And I say it's about two. Ooh, it's less than two. Here's one. And then it's one and a little bit, almost almost two. Almost two. So it's it's about that big compared to the, the pedal. You make these comparisons. You make these comparisons. Let me see how it is on the actual drawing itself on my screen. There's one. And it's one. And uh, yeah, it's more than, it's less than two. Oh, gosh, I'm, I'm yeah, and that just comes with practice. You'll see these proportions. You see these proportions, how big something is compared to something else. And uh, but that's what proportions are. That's what proportions are. So see how big something is compared to something else. Yeah, I'm going to have to get those exercises in there. All right, so here we're going to break this in half again. And we already broke that one in half. So it's just going to just go ahead and do that lead, that pedal. But I like the way that some kind of uh, kind of like there's a little bit of a bend to it that uh, on, on this one it actually overlaps that one and then this one's underneath that and same thing we're gonna go one two three around see one two and go around again around uh, there we go there's that pedal looks a little bigger that's all right I'm trusting my shape. I'm trusting my shape. And then we'll we'll break this one in half again. Getting a lot of these. This goes straight to that half side. There we go. And then it's this side here. And if you need to draw the circles, draw the circles. Draw those circles. That that does help. I think it would have helped maybe a little bit more there. That's okay. A little three little circles go around the outside. That kind of helps. There we go. See? Yeah. Get that pedal. Now, these are flat shapes. This makes it easier. Uh, I'm going to draw uh, actually a, a flower next uh, at an angle. That's more advanced. That's more advanced. When you're showing stuff, when you're first learning and you're struggling, hey, simplify things. You can you can do things, at, at, you know, flat. Because then, then comes form and, and comes... Uh, yeah, that's that's one of the lessons. It's gonna be there. All right, we're gonna break that in half right in here. There's that. That's the half, and I yeah, might as well do this with half as well. I'm aiming for the center of this line on this side. It's aiming for that center, and then here we go through our three circles: one, two, three, and over here as well, right at the tip first, the tip first, and then the two on the sides, two on the sides, two on the sides. <laughs> It's kind of almost a whole other design in itself. Now I can just go around, round, round. There we go. Look at that pedal. It's a Geppetto. Yeah, this is a compound shape, a compound shape. Just like a compound word, two words put together to make a brand new word, like playground, sunset. As we're doing here, we're putting a triangle and some circles together, and we're getting, making a new shape. It's a compound shape. There we go. Yeah. 
compound, breaking it down. There's one more petal. It's not a leaf, it's a petal. Petal to the metal here on this Thursday evening. Yeah, they're just guides. See, I'm not, I'm not totally going with that. That's okay. There we go. We got our first flower done. Wow, that was perspired on that one. There we go. I like that. We got some lines inside, They're like little wrinkles. We got one and then a little bit of space. I'm just going to put them in. I'm not going to uh, describe them. I'm going to assume you can figure that one out. There's like two in each. You know, just a little bit of a line, a little bit of a space or a dot, and then little, another little line. And then this one is, uh, they're just different patterns. This one is a line and then a dot. It's almost like Morse code. Do -do 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 -do. There we go, another line. Oops. It radiates, radiates out of the center. Another dot. And here's a line. And dots a little longer. There it is. Another one here. Another one there. Another one here. Yeah, detail goes last. See all this detail stuff. You want to try to get the big shapes and then start with smaller shapes, smaller shapes. And I do this, you know, from simple drawings like this to advanced stuff. It's the same process. We praise the process. That's how we do it. Big to small, general to specific. You know, we see this, we see, we see the United States first, we see the country, and then you see the states, and then you see the cities, and then you see the towns, and then you see the streets, and then you see the individual houses, right? You're kind of from general to specific. And we can go out as well. You go see the countries, then you go to the continents, then you go to the, the whole world, and then you go out to space, and then you see the 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 different uh <laughs> the different planets, and you got the solar system, and then you got other solar systems, then you got our Milky Way. We keep going out and out and out and out to infinity and beyond. As well as a sentence, what would would be if we move out from a sentence? We can move out to uh, a paragraph, and then you can go out from there, get to a page or a, a chapter, right? Or if you even go down from a sentence, you get to words. Then you go down from words to to letters, and then you go down from letters. What's the, what's smaller than letters? The phonemes. Oh, what's that? The sounds of the letters. You can break it down into sounds there we go oh there's our first petal little petal flower all right we've got the the i don't know what these are this could these little there's going to be fitting in that space right about there i'm blocking in again now i can see how big and i'm using this as for my proportions proportions oh i should have put their names here whoever asked for these uh, somebody asked for proportions anybody else asked for proportions flowers we had two people ask for flowers Basic sketchings, that's what we're doing. A beach scene, maybe next week. Life drawing, figure drawing. Ooh, we did We did like, uh, oh, we're doing that on Tuesdays. Life drawing and figure drawing on Tuesdays. Join us Tuesday uh, for at, at uh, five o'clock for figure drawing. We're doing stick Can I send you pictures of my beach to learn how to draw next Thursday? Sure, next Thursday, yes. Okay, it's a very realistic beach. All right, I'll, I'll break it down. <laughs> Yeah, I still got to do that volcano. And that's what I'm actually, uh, eventually, is my goal. I, I need to, I'm going to, now I'm going to order my cameras too. Definitely next week, order my cameras so I can, I can upgrade. All right. We have a whole set of leaves on this side. And then another one on this side. This one's bigger, but I see, again, I'm seeing these big shapes. I'm seeing these big shapes. I'm looking at the country and then all the states in between afterwards, right? I'm going from big to small. And seeing how the all these it's like a puzzle. So my drawing is so fun. It's like a puzzle. You want to see, okay, the big pieces, there's a big piece here. Oh, that other flower that's underneath. And then that's it. That's all our parts. Let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. There's our all our parts. So we've got a set of like little stamens on this side. I don't know what they are, little flowers. 
and then on this side our set of leaves and on this side set of leaves and on this side is our other um our other little um flower and this is actually the bottom is flat almost there see i can see that straight across and then the top would be parallel to this bottom part and there i can see how big it is then i can find the center see that center these three lines that kind of helps see those three lines and then that would get us this angle here oh, that angle coming out to that and then this angle coming out to there and then this angle coming out to there i kind of like um, echoing that there it is. I kind of sketch it in. See, that's a sketch. It's a little sketchy. It's a little sketchy. <laughs> Why was the artist arrested? Because he was a little sketchy. Then it's... <laughs> All right. I don't think I've said that, Joe. All right. So here's... Let's, let's do this uh, flower. Let's find the center again. We can do that by uh, triangulating the corners here. Making a little pizza. Pizza Planet, right in there. And I can see it should fit. And the way it fits in the drawing, it fits like comes like right up into there, that space. And I can see it right in here. So and seeing how it fits right in there, this circle, the center. And there we go, my little circle, practice drawing circle. There's my circle right in there. Bam. Zoom in on that flower so we can see what we're doing. All right, all right. Ooh, 18. Oh, we lost somebody. Oh, oh, Josh. All right. It's all good. All right. Here we go. Let's do these petals. All right. So again, uh, we got to break these. The petals are going to be broken in half again. Half and half. Half and half. Half and half. Because that's this petal here. There we go. There's going to be one there, one here, one there. And let's do that. Here we go. I'm just going to draw around the outside, around the outside. Oh, right in there. There we go. He's got a daytime job. He's doing all right. There we go. <laughs> One of my favorite songs. Before, before, <laughs> before that song, they got a big hit. That's uh, Dire Straits. That was I was I was all into that song, and then they had their "I Want My MTV" song, and I was like, "Oh, but yeah, you don't hear that I am I want my MTV song as much." That uh, Dire Straits, the other one, uh, Sultans of Swing, the Sultans of Swing, we are the Sultans. The guitar piece on that is amazing. I was in high school. I don't know, not when I came out. I, probably when I heard it. You know, I was into it in high school. I had to come out earlier. In the 80s. In the 80s. There's a little bit of overlapping. This kind of goes underneath. There we go, that whole petal. Then we got a bunch of lines underneath. There it is. There's our, our flower. There, let's get these other lines. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, probably... Oh, let's put a line there. And then we got our two lines. Each inside inside each petal, there's two lines. Two lines. And then um, break it top. Dots. Dots on the top. Really nice little design here. All right. We're going to probably do one more flower after this. And then um, and then we'll jump to, uh, I think, Snoopy. Or we jump into Snoopy. I think we jump into Snoopy. Snoop Dogg. Snoopy's tough. Oh no, we're gonna do the cat. That's why we're gonna jump to the cat. The cat's a little easier. I so I think. It might it might be hard. I don't know. Sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes like, oh, you nail it. Sometimes you see shapes. You see the shapes. You see how they fit. There it is. There's our our other petal. Look at those flowers. Very pretty. So pretty. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna go from left to right. And if you need to cover it, it's a good time to kind of cover your, so you don't uh, draw. Oh, somebody actually had a question as far as lefties too. That's another thing. You can put another piece of paper and, and kind of like, you know, so you don't smudge or smear. Um, 
your drawings. Now here I can see that um, these stems uh, kind of sticking out from here, kind of going out. There's one, a center one, a center line right in there. And then that breaks off like right in the middle. So you got this Y right in there. Then you've got another Y coming out from a little bit lower out this direction. So you got the main little stem there. Then you got another one coming out there. So there's our two Ys. Ys, guys, huh? There's our two Ys. We got another Y on this side. Another Y. Y, Y, Y. Ooh, somebody's joining us. Welcome. We're drawing, uh, we're finishing this up. Good, good, good. I, I like when people join. They don't, you don't have to be here right at the beginning, you know. In the beginning, we start off with these simple drawings. You missed, what did they miss? They missed, uh, oh, they missed our hats. Oh, there's our hat. I'll just show it real quick. We drew, uh, for St. Patrick's Day, we drew our Patrick hat. That's what you missed. You can watch the video. It should be up tomorrow. I've been putting them up. I've been doing really good putting them up the next day <laughs> for most of them, except for December 22nd, <laughs> the infamous December 22nd, the lost tapes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I cracked myself up. All right. Let's 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 uh, before we move on, let's put all these, these little circles. There's these little beads uh, right where each of these uh, Ys are. There's like a little circle. So I'm gonna put one there, one there, one right here. It's a practice, a good practice drawing small circles like that. Look how round those are. And then you have uh, each the tip of these has uh, another circle, but it also has like a little, a little base, a little stem on each bottom as well. So it's the circle, and then a little, little, little stem or something underneath. There we go. Oh, looks like okay. There we go. We got a leaf on this side. I'm missing over here. Where the, this is a leaf shape. This is more like a leaf, a petal. Yeah, leaf. It's a leaf. Leaves and petals. Zuzu's petals. There we go. Every time a bell rings, the angel gets its wings. There we go. There's a little wing. All right, let's get the rest of these in here. We got four up here, circle, little thing on the bottom, almost like a little, looks like a little crystal ball. So you got the, the circle, and then you've got like a, a, a little oval base that's underneath it, like this little oval base. There we go. And each one of these has one. There we go, each one of these. Oh, I think I'm doing, this is too close. I didn't, I'm looking at my negative space. Might have to, let's see, move it out. Let's see. No, yeah, I'll move this one out just slightly see, without moving. And this one's going to go right in here. Our circle with the little underneath. There we go. I can thicken these lines up, make them look nicer. However, ta-da. All right. Center line, a center line. This one definitely center line come from here, right here, the top of this pedal here, up that way. That's our center line. Again, big to small, which this is the, an important part. This is the biggest line in there. And then we've got like a leaf right at the tip, right in there, boom, right there. There's one. And then there's three. I'm, I always look at uh, that's interesting. I've never really noticed. I, I, there's one, two, three. I see that I, I group in, in threes. That helps. Even though there's five, there's two more here. Then I can add the other two. One, two. I'm just kind of putting where the petals are. So I can see there's a big gap right here. It's not, so I'm going to have to move this one over. And yeah, move that over. And then this one slightly over. Oh, there it is. And that's going to be a lot better. Now I can just go ahead and put them in. Knowing that... Uh, Let's see. And, and I know I have too much space, so I can move it over a little bit. There's my three and then my two, which one comes up here. And the other one is behind right in there. But I uh, got them pretty evenly spaced. 
by blocking them out first. I blocked them out. I just said, okay, there's going to be one here, just like this. There's going to be one there, another one here, and then a small one over here. See, I, I just, I'm just drawing them in the lines. And that helps me with the spacing. And then all I need to do is just put it in there around that space. There's one and the two and down here. And then the three right in here. Just a little beep. There it is. Oh, wow. Fancy. All right, and this is done with probably with a computer, probably with a computer. We're drawing it and, and doing it in pencil, sketching it out. All right, our last leaves, our last leaves, and then we can leave this drawing. <laughs> All right, let's get that center line. Here we go. Uh, we got comedy. <laughs> comedy and a show. A drawing. What, is, what cartoon was that? Oh, I think it was uh, Bugs Life. Bugs Life, yeah, Bugs Life. Dinner and a comedy, or oh, dinner and a show. That's what it was. All right, so here's our center line, um, and we got that leaf that's up here, right in there, going in that direction. Then we got I see that triangle. There's three right in there. Two got two going out that way, that way. Then we got one over here. And then three, I can see those three. There's these two, and then there's three. Uh, the, if I can see the center one, that'll help place the other two. That's the center. And then the other two are around it. Oh, right in there. So that's going to be my leaves. One here, one there, one there, one there, one there. On the other side, we've got one that's going to be like right in here, coming up from these two, is that center. It's going to come out uh, in here at that angle, almost straight across. There, and then you have another one hiding from under here. It's coming out, out of nowhere, right in there. And you got another one coming up here, right in there. Oh, and there's there's the location of all my all my leaves, all my children, <laughs> all my leaves. I think that's it, three, three. This one should be actually underneath a little bit more. I see it coming out here. Ah, double check. Good thing I double checked. I can move this one over. There we go, this one. Left to right. Here we go, left to right. Here's one leaf. Here's another start straight. See, and then what helps is that little line that I drew around here. I can see how far out it goes, and it helps keep that shape, that form. Let me see. It helps keep that that distance because I did that sketch that's out there. I can see how far, you know. I can kind of keep it on that that shape, and you kind of have that implied shape. It's implied. That shape is kind of implied. And it, and it helps get your drawings a lot more accurate because you can see the states while you put in the cities, right? So I go from big to small, general, specific, general to specific, el general general to specific, general, general. All right, I'm picking up some of these lines, get the last two leaves, and then we're done. And we can leave this dry. Oof. Hopefully the, the next flower I think is more complex, but it's uh it's not as not so much. It's more complex, but it's it's uh, there's not so much to it. This one had a lot of stuff, but not too bad. We need to get the tree with the faces though. That's been this is the second time it's been put up. Yeah, it is, huh? We'll get that. We'll get that because it is the second time. But uh, there's two requests for flowers, and I kind of like this one. Uh, let's do let me do this one really quick. I really like this flower. Uh, this one's this one's a little more complex, but it's it's not as much in the drawing. Here, this one skip to my loo. Dot org. This this uh, this flower here. It's at an angle. Copy image address. Image address. Dress dress. Uh, copy image address. There it is. There we go. Put it up here. Paste. Pick up the paste. There it is. Oh, look at that. And you can see the oval. And this this is it's really interesting because this is comes forward. There's this is actually going back into space and there's overlapping. You got to see the way it overlaps. One the way one petal overlaps the other as it goes back. And then you've got this that comes 
over this is that um, the button and then this overlaps that all right so there's there's really interesting and overlapping uh -huh. ah, i can't do that i can't um with my drawing tools i can't get that angle if i were to try to do an oval here like this it only goes uh horizontal and vertical i can't get that diagonal uh wish i could stretch it out that way i'd have to do two circles bam that's all good even here too this whole thing this whole thing is at an angle if you look at the axis line the axis line of this whole shape it's, it's kind of going out that way this axis line and then you have the axis minor axis minor and they're perpendicular see all these math terms you should have learned in math while drawing a fun way to learn <laughs> i think perpendicular means like this is a 90 degrees right in here yeah uh, yep, 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 it is what that is. Let's see, so let's find that center, that axis minor, axis major, and then you have the, I can actually, you can actually draw a circle with straight lines. There we go. As it comes around here, it's an oval. oval what shape. is this tool, Eladio? I'm sorry? What is this tool that you're drawing with? Oh, this tool? Oh, it's it's uh, from Zoom. Uh, it's the zoom zoom yeah because i can open it up i can open up you know what that would probably be a good idea open it up in um in uh because you have more control inside uh photoshop i can open it up in photoshop but this is this is zoom there's also um photo p i like photo p photo p is free it's like free photoshop yeah. so that's not amusing yeah this is just one of the tools that zoom the zoom uh, program has it's a little limited. Okay. It must be something for the organizer or. Yeah, yeah, it would be something for the. Oh, they dropped. Yeah, it would be something for. Um, yeah, it would be it would be a comment. <laughs> it's a hey, you know, and they want to keep the tools simple, too. You know, they don't want to keep them too, too complex. Now, what I want you to notice is that this is important here. The center line, uh, that's the middle. And then you can see that uh, the, the petals back here are bigger than the ones down here. That That is, uh, and here, if we break that in half as well, right in there, that's that uh, fourth. If I were to break all these down into fourths, but that this is the center line here. And then you can see here, this is that center, more or less, give or take. And then the way this flows off, this line just flows off, this petal here just flows off onto uh, our petals, this leaf, and then this off of there. There we go. Let me uh, screenshot that. I just posted a lot more pictures. Well, <laughs> I don't expect us to get to them. They're just uh, for the fun of it. All right. And maybe at the end, we'll see. See how I'm feeling. I got, I've got quite a bit of energy tonight. You know, <laughs> by the end of the night, I'm like, oh, we're doing these drawing marathons just for the fun of it. Here we go. Let me see. Oh, screenshot. All right, everyone. There we go. There we go. Let's screenshot this. Yeah, we are going to go a little more difficult. We're still uh, dealing with this. We'll do this one pretty quick. It's a, I'll send this one a little quick. And some of you probably already drew this. So that's great. If you already drew it, great. Uh, probably draw more. Draw more. Don't just draw one. Draw a lot of flowers. There we go. You can see how I break it down. Let's see what else we have for tonight. Yeah, Snoopy. Oh, the, the cat. The cat. We're going to draw the cat. And then the dog, and then we've got the yeah. We kind of have to do that uh, tree with the faces, and then there was more faces. Uh, oh, we got the beetles. Then we got. Let me see the more pictures that were added. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, the hummingbird. We got the hummingbird. Ooh, well, I'd have to do the hummingbird. Hey, hey, hey. Mm -hmm. I like that turtle, turtle, turtle. Oh, there's a bird. That's nice. I might draw these a lot quicker. Yeah, there's another, there's another, sh no, that's a shamrock, or what's the difference between a shamrock and a clover? Oh, look, at, we've got some, these are, are we supposed to be seeing all those? All I see is the, no, the yeah, picture you drew. I, only I see them. Yeah. yeah. I love that turtle. I've been yeah. seeing that picture a lot. I love that. Yeah, I've drawn them before. I now thought so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like we've drawn them. And then your, is this your beach? Yeah, oh, we got a lot of drawings here. I don't know. Well, first I just showed you my town. Then I showed you beaches nearby. Oh, really? Wow. Where's your town? I got to visit. 
Central Oregon coast. Central Oregon coast. Hey, that's that's on my list. Well, um, yeah, I'm going to go up California, Morro Bay. Although I think one of the, um, yeah, there was a little bit of flooding out there in the last couple of days. All right, here's a cat. All right, here's our cat. Let's take a look. We got some squares and shapes. All right, let's. Wait, let's... did we finish that second flower? Uh, oh, no, we didn't. <laughs> That's right, we didn't do the second flower. Uh, we didn't even start it. <laughs> and, I thought my, and I thought my attention span was short. <laughs> I got thrown off. All right, here we go. <laughs> Let me stop sharing. <laughs> All right, it just broke it down. It's up to you to draw it now. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Okay, I've got my oval. There we go. And I got the angle. Let's see, there's my angle. And let's see, am I spotlit? Yes, I am spotlit. I think so. There we go. Okay, I'm going to do this a little faster. We're going to pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. Because you get the idea. For those of you who are first here, you can thank you for joining us. We're going to pick up the pace. See how fast we can draw. See, there's there's our center, and here's the center of that. Uh, my scribbles, see all the scribbling, the sketching. It's okay. Don't you know? We get all caught up in trying to make things perfect, and uh, you know this is oh, all the. Audio, did you put it in the chat? The structure I did. I'll put it again. Yeah, it's in the chat. It's Seven fifty-five. It was there. I'll put it in the chat again. Let's see, Chattanooga. All right, here we go. Luckily, it's easy to do. The screen, the, the new tool, the tool that I discovered. That, I don't know how long it'd been there. There we go. That's it. That's in the chat again. Oh, there it is. Okay, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. All right. So I've got my oval shape. I've got the center. And I got the half of that. There we go. That's it. And that's where this, uh, this uh, the that, uh, ooh, there's a name for that. It's the second time I ran across it because the first time we did this other flower, it's that same uh, button, the button, the button of the flower, I guess. Now, what's important here about this? I'm sorry. You know what? I did. I already drew it. That's why I didn't realize uh, that. Uh, see if it just. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks. Okay. Draw a whole bunch. All right. So we've got this oval. Now this oval, this this button part is the one that sticks out. This this, this is the shape that you want to capture this this uh, this part because it's actually three dimensional. This is three dimensional as it sticks out right in there. And then this side of the that gets uh, overlapping because it's closer. So that you're getting the pedal, the, this first pedal. I can say this first pedal is like right in here, right in there. And then you have another pedal like uh, I didn't get that axis line, the axis minor. There we go. So it's on this side, and on, on this side you have that other pedal. Then you have uh, two more pedals. Actually, let me see. Uh, yeah, these two pedals. I can see right down the middle almost of this. This pedal kind of comes in here, and then there's two pedals I hear in between those. So yeah, so I break it down. I break it down. I see, there's that pedal here, this pedal here, that pedal there, and then here's there's two pedals. And so I just find the middle, kind of at that angle. And then there's one pedal, there's gonna be one pedal here, another pedal there in that space. And I'm just scribbling them in. And then this other pedal over here, and then another pedal right in here. And then this one coming, uh, ooh, that's actually in front. It's in front of our button. It's in front of the button, it kind of comes down. And this one's pretty big too. So I'm seeing where it's placed, the placement of that the pedal. Kind of like right here in this area. Oh, and there we got that one. That's it. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. See this one. This one has. This one's more complex, but it's it's uh, not as much as drawing as that other flowers. We had two flowers and all the leaves. This is this is the the complexity of this because it's in space. It's a little more complex, but less drawing. All right, we got the stem coming out here, and then we've got that. Look at, I can see that uh, that leaf coming um, coming off of the side, I'm using that as a guide, coming off of here and kind of coming down uh, to get that tapered tapered leaf shape for it here that kind of goes in here. See the flow of this line, the flow of the shape, the way it tapers as it gets smaller and it kind of twists that tapered tail. 
copyrighted 2022. <laughs> you got the stem. And that's it. See, that's it. We got it all blocked in. Now we can just go in there and draw it out. Let's use a marker. And then do it really quick. There we go. Here's my marker. And we're starting from the front, the closest to us, and then going back because this is in front. This this pedal here is in front. Here we go. And it does kind of like go around like that. And down. And there's our pedal. Our first pedal. There it is. I can thicken it up. And you see that's a drawing. That's not a sketch. This is nice and clean. But don't worry about doing it nice and clean. I mean, you can, but uh, focus should be sketching, really. When you're first learning, just sketch. Just sketch. Get a lot of sketching in. Sketch, 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 sketch. Because drawings take too long. Drawing, getting it perfect. But you're going to get more out of sketching. If you just sketch, you're going to get more um, pencil mileage. You're going to get more experience. You're going to get more blues singing. Singing the blues. Or paying your dues. Uh, you got to pay your dues to sing the blues. Same thing with drawing. You got to sketch, sketch, sketch. But here we go. There we go. I'm getting those pedals in there now. This one's in front. This pedal's in front of this one on top of it, actually. So this is kind of going behind this pedal here. As it goes over here. And then uh, I'm stopping it there because this one goes in front. This next one goes in front right in there a little bit of a dip and around and then this one goes in front of that one as well on top see the way notice how this one goes in front of it there we go there we go all right and this one as well goes on top this next one goes on top there we go Comes around this way. Ooh, and then this one is on top as well. Oh, let's get that uh, thickness on the our button. Our button. See our button right there. Oh. And then the center lines. There we go. And then here we go. This one has the same thing, this little twisting thing that's happening at the tip. There's another one here. Another one there. And then and this goes over a little bit of a dip. And bam, look at that. Look at that. Wow. Here's our STEM. STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and math. I've got a master's in STEM, believe it or not. I knew all that stuff. Actually, I don't know. It's funny. Funny, funny. So do you? Do you have a master's degree? Yeah, I have a master's degree. Oh, but it's not in drawing. It's a master's in STEM education. No, it's not a master's in drawing. But I'm a master drawer. <laughs> so why didn't you end up being a STEM teacher? I was. I, I taught. Huh? I was a STEM. Oh, done, I got it. You did both. Yeah, it was it was more than STEM. It was STEAM. We call it STEAM. It was science, technology, engineering, art, and math. And this is math. I mean, this is math. You got shapes and angles. I've talked about proportions. I talk about perpendicular. I mean, it's it's all connected. It's, it's only school that tears everything apart and, and tries to, okay, learn this. You know, learn these letters, but they don't show you the chapters. They don't show you, you know, we're talk, talking about thinking, breaking things into parts. That's what school does. School, does, and then they try to teach you all the little parts, and and hopefully one day you get to put all the parts together and say, "Oh, I get it." And a lot of people don't. <laughs> well, you know, that's what school does. School, they they break things down into departments. You have your art department, math department. When it's all, you know, should be integrated, which is the the latest way school should be taught, with projects and integration and. So you can see all the connections and see how it's all connected because you know you can't make an iPhone without math and science and and art. The design, 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 design. All right, there's our flower. Wonderful class. Thank you so much. I had difficulty signing in and it was late, but next time we'll do better. Many thanks for offering this. I learned so much. Glad you learned so much. Thank you for joining us. Pamela, let's see where we're going next. 
All right, so share my screen. Oh, we're going with um, who we're going with? Oh, let's close. You that. said the cat on the books. Oh yes, cat on the books. Thank you. Oh man, I I got my, my secretary. <laughs> a cat on her books. I see the square here. I see the square, and then the cat's on top of it. So let's get that square going. <laughs> it's like a my own personal assistant. That's what it is. A little PA. Love it. Love it. I don't believe this sign though. If I want to read, my cat doesn't sit on top of the books. She sits <laughs> right on. Right in front of my face, between me and, and the book, between my eyesight and the book. <laughs> oh, man. Life is better with cats and books. Cats and boots. No, puss and boots. All right, here we go. So here's our square. You can see um, this set of books, all the red ones, kind of fit in there. And then um, look at this. If you look at, look at this implied shape, this shape here. A lot of people miss this triangle shape. Look at there's a triangle shape right in here. Oh, we got some people logging out. <laughs> no more cartoons, they say. I don't know. There's that, and then you can see this this hand, and you can see the the proportions. You can see how the spacing from here to here, to here to here. If you go all the way out that way, it's almost the middle there where that's at. And then you've got this oval shape for the head at this angle here. Notice that angle of that axis line of that shape. All shapes have axis lines. Even this one here has an axis line. This shape here has an axis line. Out that way, the tail has a two axis lines, that one, and then it goes out that way. All right, I'm gonna have to do, do two of these. Uh, let's screenshot both of these. And we're gonna pick up the speed. We're gonna, we're gonna pick up the speed. We're gonna draw these pretty quick because we've got enough um, cartoons. We need to move on. So let's, uh, where's my chat? We're going to draw this really quick. All right, let's move faster, 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 faster. What's that? There's a name of a faster kitty cat, faster or something. Or other. All right, here we go. There it is. I'm going to do it again without the lines. So let me erase all my clear, all the drawings. There we go. Let's post it one more time without the lines. It's missing the ear. Uh, let's escape that. Here we go. One more time. Oh, the, oh, it's missing the ear up there, too. Oh, it's all good. It's all good in the hood. Here we go. All right, all right. Here we go. Stop that. All right, let's do it. We're going to start off with our square. Let's get some more fresh paper. Fresh, fresh paper. Our old drawing here. All right, let's see. Here's our cat. Let's draw big. We get our start off with our square. And that helps just set where everything's going to go. See, we see our square and how it's going to fit on our paper. So, you know, you don't get it to squeeze in. And then on top of that square, we have our triangle. And it goes an angle this way, angle that way. Get these two angles. And then this other angle that way. And our cat's going to fit in that, in that space right there. Whoa. Oh, shoot. <laughs> All right, now should I answer? I don't know. Hello, hello. Here we go. Oh. Hey. Hola, Nadio. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Bien, estoy en mi clase. ¿En clases? Sí. Oh, disculpa. Oh, está bien. ¿A qué hora te, te puedo volver a llamar? En una hora. Ok. All right, that's it. All right, so I blocked it out. Look at that. That's my, this is my square. And then this is the books that are underneath uh, about that. And then there's like, there's really like two books. There's my scribbles, but I can see that in the proportions and everything. The head of the cat, well, the hat, the, the other hand is kind of like right in the middle. Remember, kind of the middle in there it should be somewhere in there. But the head, that's the most important part. The head of this cat, we got to get it right. We got to nail this head, right? We got to nail the head. How big the head is right in here, the head of that cat. It's right in there. I'm noticing the height and the width, the angle of that uh, shape. I'm trying to get that head, that cat. This is the most important part of that head. And this is probably, uh, composition-wise, this is the emphasis or the point of interest. Because everything else kind of, um, everything else kind of uh, goes to this shape here. All right, so it's this oval shape. There we go. Let me zoom in. 
let's zoom in on that now. So that's this oval shape. Notice how big it is in there? Right in there. That's it. It's almost that that space right in here. All right, let's let's zoom in. Bam. One more. There it is. All right, cool. So um in the middle of that, our axis line, then we have all this, all the eye stuff is below that. We've got the nose. So we got the nose, which is uh right about there. It's just a little half moon right on our center. See our center axis line that way. That helps keep everything centered. If you see that axis line, it really helps. Get that little half moon, little nose, little triangle nose. There it is, our triangle nose. And then we got our cheeks that kind of just uh, attach up and out. There we go. And there's our cheeks. And maybe just and then a little bit of a chin. Right in there. Bam. Ooh, ah, I got it all thick. Excuse me. Then we got the eyes, like sleeping. So it's below the half, that half, these eyes are below, I would say, uh, yeah, right in the middle of that, right in the middle, there's these big closed eyes, one on one side and one on the other. Look at that cat, sly cat. Ooh, stray cat, stray cat strut. Stray cat strut, I'm a lady's cat. <laughs> I like this, huh? Shoes thrown at me from a mean old man. I get my dinner from a garbage can. Meow. All right, here's the whiskers again. Uh, I don't know, we drew whiskers last week, I think, and you can see them as one big shape. Let's try to see them as one big shape to kind of block it in. And then you can do them. There's, I think there's just three little whiskers, but I can see it as I'm blocking it in real quick. Notice how I did that. They're going to be in there. Let's block in the other side, too. There's a little more of a curve on this other side. They kind of fit in here. And then you can actually start off with the center one. That's a good way to do it. Just get that middle one out of the way. Boom, right in there. There's that middle whisker. And then the other two whiskers on each side. One, two, bam. There's those whiskers. 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 Oh, well, this time I did it. I'm going top to bottom. There it is. There's our cat. And he's got like a little frown or something going on. Dreaming of, well, it's got little, two little hairs on each side. One, two, right in there. Like a little V. Ah, let's get these ears on there. His ears kind of like ear shape, these triangle shapes. One there, one there. I'm going pretty fast. Hopefully you can capture. I'm not going too fast. I don't know. Hopefully not. If you can, look at the video. Video tomorrow will be up. Will be up. Will be up. Yeah, see? Oh, man. That's going to be so cool once I get my videos up on our website. All I need to do is just go to our website, and you can see. Um, I won't have the latest one, but I'll have these things in order. But one of the videos will be, like, um, how to subscribe. How to subscribe. All right, we've got the head. Now we can add all the parts. Uh, we got the arm, an arm right in here that's going to come right in there. There's one arm. There's a little bit of a twist to it, a little bit of a spin right in there, coming down right in there. See, I'm getting the feel of that arm, the flow. There's one there, one off this book, and this other hand, and then just like right in here. I'm trying to see the thickness of that hand just to make it consistent uh, to the other hand that goes off that book right in there. Then the body, the body goes up at an angle and around, up and around. And then, oh, his, <laughs> his toes coming out right here. That's really cute. His foot, uh, this, he, he must, this person must have a cat and saw this. See that foot right there? And it's just the other foot's hanging over. That leg is hanging over the foot. That's cute. Little detail there. And we got the back leg, like a turkey leg. And then it comes out in an angle. I said this is straight up and down almost. But then it, there's a little part of it that kind of comes out at this angle here. And then it comes out at that angle. Oh, I already have it there. That my triangle there. I can use that right in there. Boom. Look at that. And this helps. See, this helps kind of get the how far out this leg comes out. See this angle here. These three line up. These three, three legs line up. 
All right, we got one new message. What does it say? Oh, I have to go. All right, you're welcome. Pam, thank you for joining us. Oh, another Pam. We had two Pams tonight. Oh, that's cool. We got double Pam. Pam, Pam. Pow, pow. All right, here we go. Let's uh, get this back leg. It's really interesting. This uh, let me see. This would be the knee. This is this would be the knee. If you know, actually, this is the the um, anatomy of a cat. That would probably be the knee. And then uh, this is this whole bottom part is the foot. This whole long thing is the foot. And there's little swiggles, and it comes up here to push in a little bit from what I had, then out. I'm trying to capture the shape, capture the form, this feel of it, making the drawing solid. You want to try to make that solid, solid shape, because it's more than just drawing lines, it's really trying to capture that shape. There that is, and then we have the tail, two angles again, one straight down, and then out, out like that. Oh, and it goes out compared to this leg, it doesn't come out that far. It should probably be right here, seeing, seeing the relationships of the leg to the, the, the tail. This foot comes out to right about there, and then it does puff out a little bit. Okay. See, I can go around here at that angle and then up, get that tail in there. Bam! The tail of two cities, the tail of two cats. Meow. There we go. Oh, look at that cat. Oh, that's a nice cat. I, I like it. I like it. Good, good job, artist who broke it down. Really, he's really just laying on those, laying on those books, waiting for that bookworm. All right, we got the toes in here. Uh, there's a the center one. There's a center little paw, and then you've got uh, three little ovals at center, and then you got three ovals. One, two, and three. There it is. Bam, bam. Let's get this. Uh, well, I think, oh yeah, we've got a little foot right there, and then this up here. This would be the elbow. This would be the the lower arm, right in here. This is this is the hand right here, the paw. That's the paw. See, this is understanding the anatomy. I've drawn cats. All right, bam. There's the cat. Cat is done. All right, now the books. We got one book right in here. Another one right about in here. So I'm just doing the horizontal lines. I can get the thicknesses afterwards, you know, all the, the parts. I'm just getting where kind of the books are. One there, one right above this leg, right in here, right above this leg, right in there. And it comes out, this one curves out. Oh, right in there. Placement. And then we've got one that comes out a little bit more. Oh, up to the tail almost. And this is the right in there. And I mean, the accuracy doesn't matter, but we, we're pretty close. We're pretty close. We get a good feel of where all these books are kind of are. We've got two more books here. There's the red book. And then you've got two red books. This other red book kind of goes in here. And then, uh, ooh, a uh, big blue book. Ooh, and it's got some perspective on it. It's got these angles here, these angles, these two angles. And they kind of come out like that for this big blue book. And then this book, because it's a block. This is a block. And it would have a vanishing point. Ooh, I should draw. I should find that vanishing point. But it's probably it's probably under here. So we're looking up at that cat. All right, yeah, there's these two angles right there. That goes to a vanishing point in the middle somewhere. We got the thickness, thick book, 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 book. A thousand and one new ways to relax. <laughs> a thousand and one new ways to relax. Just when you thought there was no more ways to relax, we <laughs> random publishings present a thousand and one new ways to relax. <laughs> I'm getting silly. Uh, I get silly and then I lose all my energy. <laughs> T cat escaping the rat race. Ah, I love that. Escaping the rat race. Yep, yep, yep. Here we go. There's the book. I'm just going to do them. There's thicknesses. There's all kinds of stuff. I'm just going <laughs> to... The top book is chilling. Chilling, chilling, chilling. There's overlapping. So this this top book, I'm going to go from top down. 
There's this book because I kind of blocked them in already. I can start drawing them. This goes all the way up to here. There's that book. Oops, maybe I should bring it down so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so there's that top book. And then there's the, the book spine or the book thickness. The thickness, actually, this is the spine. But the, the thickness of the covers, you can see it uh, on the bottom one. This next one is, is kind of like there's a thickness to this uh, cover right in here. And then the pages, kind of there's pages. And, uh, all this detail. The devil's in the details. Yes, it is. Detail, that's why details go last. Trying to get everything blocked in first. And then you can get lost in the details. You can spend all the time you want in getting all the details. But uh, afterwards, you just got to block it all in. All right, another, another thickness of book over here. I kind of, I got it. Man, that's, I'm, I'm happy with that. Thanks. It's getting a good feel. Here's a book cover. There's another cover. You know, books are good. Ooh. Oh, man, I got to get my Google fix. I got to get my Google fix. <laughs> I can talk about the Gutenberg and the printing press. And now, let's see what year that was. The computers. All right. Ah, let's zoom out. I think we're done with this one. Was that fast enough? I don't know. I won't worry about the letters and stuff. All righty. Ooh, let's do, let's let's go with um, uh, Snoopy, Snoop Dogg, 820. Where's uh, Snoop Dogg? Is it Snoop Dogg next? There he is, Snoopy. He's tough. He's tough. He's he's always, he's, um. it's interesting. And I don't want to draw fast, but I guess I will. You guys are hanging in there. Let's see. You got Snoop Dogg, our last shamrock drawing. Tomorrow, tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. Today's the 16th. Is it? Yeah, the 16th today. 16, 16 candles. All right, let's break it down. Let's, let's share my screen. Wow. And let's see. Here we go. I can't zoom in, zoom out. I wish I could copy image address. Let's go. Paste. It's just like this extra step. I used to be able to. Ooh, look at that. It's really big. We won't worry about the, the shamrocks. You can do them. We kind of talked about that in our flower drawings. Actually, that's really, there it is, our kind of flower drawings we did tonight. Yeah, Snoopy's always really tough. He's really tough because you got to see the way. It's an interesting design. Let me see. Here we go. Yeah. Um, this, this you can skip him and just do Woodstock. Oh, yeah, good idea. Um, yeah, well, I'm gonna do them real quick. I'll do both. And then you can see how big he is, how big Woodstock is compared to how big. Um, this is this really helps with proportions. Is uh, getting these guidelines. Um, uh, where's my pencil? getting these guidelines like from here seeing this tip to this tip right triangulating from this to this and this kind of helps almost see it a whole big sh another big shape there we go seeing this big shape compared to this and then actually even going here to here and then you can see um this would be you know hey look at broke that down into like a triangle shape axis line right in there that would be an axis line and then this kind of at an angle, this is pretty straight. And you can see its relationship uh, right in there with these feet, and almost as big there. This is a little smaller, a little bigger. This angle here, that angle there. Yeah. This angle. Yeah, try to see. It's almost unfocusing. You almost have to unfocus to focus, right? You almost have to kind of see. I don't know. It's, weird to explain but uh yeah that's it and then this would be the axis line here oh look here's another line that one that angle and then it swoops and you can see this is another axis line kind of like right in there that center of that uh that shape it does pull out a little bit 
on this side a little bit more. So it's not totally symmetrical. Notice how it pulls out, but this would be like the apex I'm trying to capture that. That's it. That's good. Here's kind of like a circle too, but kind of swoops down. Ah, I don't know. It's really hard shape to draw. I don't know. It took me a while and I still, yeah, it took me a while to, to get it. <clears throat> I'm drawing it on my own. All right. Let's, let's sharpen my pencil real quick a little bit. Uh, Oh, let's get it into the chat. Here's the chat. Here we go. All right, all right. It is 8.24. We got at least a half an hour with it drawn. Actually, it's a little past 8.24. Now let's pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. We're still drawing cartoons. There it is. Now let's, uh, I'm going to do it without the uh, annotation. Clear all drawings. All right, here we go. And then, um, yeah, these guidelines, all these guidelines are kind of like the training wheels. I mean, you know, eventually you don't need them, if you, especially if you practice a lot. Um, you won't need them, but you'll kind of see them. They're the training wheels. And then you just, you know, you don't do it anymore. Or you can. I mean, I, sometimes you'll see, you'll see. As you draw, you'll see, okay, I need to do them. Like, uh, or <laughs> use grids. Because that's what happened to me. I was using, uh, I sometimes uh, was drawing big and then I'm like, oh, that's not accurate. I guess I had to bring out the grids to draw the grids and use those guides. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Uh, stop sharing. Here we go. All right. Um, okay, so I've got my, actually, well, so let's block it all, block the bottom in. I'm just going to try to see that rectangle shape, actually. <laughs> I did it. Let's do it. Here's that rectangle shape. And then Snoopy's going to be over here. His head's going to be right about that space. And uh, his body here. And I can see his this, this whole body's going to fit here. And then the Woodstock right in there. And if you remember Woodstock, you weren't there. <laughs> just kidding. That's an old joke. Not too many people get that. Yeah, there we go. There's Woodstock's head. And then we got his body in proportion. I'm just looking at the proportions, how big the body is compared to the head and how it all fits together. This little puzzle, this little puzzle piece. See, see, there's the head, the body. Then we got over here his feet. We got two feet, one big foot, another foot. His body shape is kind of like triangular shape right in there. And then the head, and that angle, got that angle that was coming out right about in there. Then um, this other ear, right about there, this head shape. This one is kind of like an oval or circle shape. And then you've got the uh, this old this snout. Is it a snout? As oh, it goes around. There we go. That's blocked out. It's kind of scribbled out. See, I kind of got where everything kind of goes. Block it out. How big it is compared to the, the head's about as big as the body. See this is how it all fits together. These, this is the this is the this is the framework, the structure. All right, let's do this. All right, so we've got this angle back here, so I can put this a little bit more of an angle there. I've got the the top of the head, which is pretty symmetrical this time. Sometimes it pulls to one side or the other, but you know, I got that oval shape. I got that in there. And then here, this kind of almost drops. This, this, this kind of goes around here and kind of drops. And then it and then it comes down and, and swoops on this angle. Right in there. Right in there. Here we go. Up and around, up and around, up and around. There we go. I got this ear and I can see how, I mean, I can see the proportions, the ratio, actually, the ratio and the proportions, how big this is compared to that. I mean, this is a complex shape. It's a pretty complex shape. Very complex. Very complex. See how this ear fits in there. Bam. Yeah, Snoopy. Snoopy's a tough one. Snoopy getting the shape of this head is not easy. I know how much I struggle. <laughs> All right, now I can see the center right in here, right in there is where that nose is going to be, right about there. The eyes are right about in here and on that angle, on this line right there. See, I'm just putting a, the lines where the eyes are going to go. They're going to go right there. 
right there's the nose, and then a big old happy mouth uh, right from here to there. Let's zoom in, zoom, zoom, zoom. You can kind of see, kind of see how it's coming in. But you see, I'm blocking a block. I, I see these big shapes, even though there's like um, this is this the mouth isn't like that. It, it's got like a little. It's got these little wiggles, especially that right at the end, a little wiggle right there, and then it wiggles, 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 and connects. Uh, oof, probably a little bit lower to this. Uh, uh, I can thicken it up. I can bring this up actually. Bring it up because there's overlap right here with the mouth. But um, I don't know what if he had. Um, I, his hands were shaking when he was. His older drawings are a lot more shaky. Charles Schultz. Charles Schultz. Yep, yep. Thickness of line. That thickness of line. Oval shape right in here for the nose. It's got a little highlight right in the middle. I don't know if it was intentional, accidental. Right in there, right there. And then now the eyes. I can see, I can see the position. And then now uh, here there's one right in here. Little rainbow shape. And then another one. And it does get thicker. Uh, it's thinner on the left, and then it gets a little bit thicker on the right. If you notice, I'm gonna exaggerate a little bit. It's thinner on the left and then a little bit thicker on the right. You got to see the thickness of line. And there it is right there. Now, bring that head back up. Up and around. And then he's got two little hairs. One right at the top. Not right at the top, but right in the front. Here's the top. That's the top. It's right here at 11 o'clock, I would say. And it's uh, a little bit of a curve. This one, a little bit of a curve down. Two little hairs. And here's the ear. Should I speed up? I don't know. I'm kind of taking it easy. I mean, I can I can draw faster. Try not to, to lose anybody. See the thickness of this neck? And then he's got his uh, collar, a little collar right in there, a little red collar. Then the body, ooh, the hands. And there's one hand here. Let's see, I can draw it as a circle, and then another hand behind it. And then that line of the uh, shamrock, uh, the shamrock's going to be up here. And I can follow through underneath. You got to got to follow through underneath. Almost even put your pencil if you need to, so you can see where it comes out on the other side. And then draw that shamrock which we won't get. Well, I can do it real quick. <laughs> There's four. One, two, three, four. You just go. See, I just scribbled it in. Now I, can just, now I have just like a place to kind of just kind of go around and just, just do it. If I had markers, I'd do it a little faster. But... Just throw it in there. A little shamrock. There it is. Oh. Yeah. Right, just a sketch. It's just a sketch. Yeah, because there's a lot more to it. There's a lot more to those shamrocks. They've got a design inside. Oh, we didn't do any Celtic knots this year. Last year we did. We did a nice Celtic knot. That was fun. No Celtic knot. Wow, that was a whole year ago. Pearl remembers. Yeah. Is she here? Oh, she, oh, yeah, she's there. Yep, I remember. That was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that was a good one, yeah. That was a good one. See, and I can just promote it again, but I need to... I need to... I need to get all those videos together, cut them down, just make a title page. And that way you see it. Oh, there it is. And then just watch it. That was a good one. And the highlight reel. All right, I can see the hand's going to go there. Hand's going to go here. Foot's going to go here. I'm going to double check my spacing and placement of everything. There's one foot there, another foot, probably a little further out, slightly. Trying to get the shape, make it make it solid, this solid shape of the this um, body. Uh, it's almost like a vase. And then it's got the tail right in there. Oops, I should zoom out or bring it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me zoom out real quick and then zoom back in. So there you can see what it looks like there and zooming it back in. So, so this is what we're drawing here. And then the tail a little bit wider right in there. 
and it's all scribbled in. This is how you draw. You want to sketch it and then on top of it, do the drawing. There's a one hand a paw. These little grubby paws there. That's kind of like a clover or a. Uh, here's the arm. There's two arms. There's two lines for the arms the upper arm and the, the lower arm. And then you go here. The foot is in front. But just get still get the, this line down here, part of that arm, the elbow, elbow, elbow. Uh oh, I think I went out too far. That's okay. I think I'll bring this out further. And he does have spots. That's right. There's a spot back here. Oh, I just ruined it a little bit. It's too close. It's all right. It happens. Slow down, speed racer. Let's get this little tail tapered shape it's got some spots on it as well there's a spot on top and a spot back here there he is all right and then his bottom of his feet kind of like shoes he's got uh, there's three i see the center one here that one there that one there those three and then there's another there's a four and a five four and a five yes yeah, right in there this one has, I see the three and then one on one on the side. So there's there's a three and then there's a one on one side and one on the other side right about there. I did it kind of light. Yeah, I definitely would need a marker for this because this is th these lines are pretty thick. These are thick lines. Now well, I won't use my marker, but uh, if you want to do it accurately, you got to thicken up these lines. Picking up these lines and a little bit of an angle. I don't know. I, I, I changed the ratio, made it thinner. Nah, nobody's going to know. Except for you guys. I'll let you in on a little secret. <laughs> the ratio's off. That's okay. It's a little thinner. Should be a little bit wider. But nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Then the, the elbow, this other hand's not going to fit. So I'm squeezing it in. Yeah, it's getting late. <laughs> Playing it on some. Playing the blame game here tonight. Uh, Got to take ownership. Ownership. Extreme ownership. All right, let's do this. Uh, let's do this little Woodstock. Woodstock. Same thing. We've got the little beacon there. Little beacon. Little beacon of light. Right in there. Little beak. And then his eyes right in about in there. A big old smile as well. And then uh, you can see that one hair right in here, another hair over here, another hair over here. And I would struggle too with, with stock, but you can see it. Once you see the shape here, you can see then everything else just kind of like on it, on that shape. Because the, all these lines are like all around, but you, you want it, you need to make that drawing solid. So seeing the underlying shape underneath really helps making that solid. You can see one side is, the, the right side is thicker on these eyes as well. A little, little happy face for this little bird. Bird, bird is a word. I don't know, it's got all kinds of feathers and all kinds of stuff. I don't know, it's kind of, it's like scribbled in here. It's really hard to, I don't know, I've never really figured that out. Actually, even looking at this, I can see the shape, then I can see the tail. This tail. Then you got all this, all these lines in there. So I'm just going to, I don't even know. I'm just going to, I don't even know what it is. I don't know the, the anatomy or, or what. I can see the back of his, the back, the back kind of a, a nice little curve. And then, I don't know, I see these two shapes. Here's the center of those two shapes. And you've got one shape on one side, one shape on the other. And then a third shape right in there. And then you've got, I don't know what's going on in here. Um, those are feet. What? Arm? I don't know. But uh, man, was, I faked it. Fake it. Fake it. That's it. All right. Let me zoom in a little more. <laughs> so you can see how I faked it. I guess. That's what I kind of see. There's something going on up here. And I think I did the eyes too big. That's all right. It's getting late. <laughs> Play the blame game. All right, here we go. There's uh, let's see if we can pick up the pace. 
Yeah, yeah, we got we got about 15 minutes. What are we gonna draw? Oh, we got a lot. So we got a lot of posting. We gotta draw the face. We gotta draw the trees. That's what we're gonna draw. Let's draw those feet, trees. Share my screen. Yeah, I gotta draw that. It's our second time I see it up, so we gotta definitely pay homage to oh that dog. We're gonna have to skip the dog. Yeah, we did a lot of cartoons already. Optical illusion time. There it is. That one. Ah. All right. Optical illusion time. Don't give up on us, baby. All right. So, uh, yeah, I can kind of see this uh, shape here. Um, angles. Let's get some angles in here. This angle here from the nose, always the nose, the tip of the nose to the chin. You can see even here at this angle, but there's there's two angles. So there's that nose kind of going to two angles. And these noses kind of lining up. These chins, two on almost line up and one below. Then I can see this angle here. I mean, I can see this. I can say that this is kind of like this angle, but there's really that angle and then that angle and then this angle. But uh, this triangle, right? Okay, let's do it. I'm just gonna do it real quick. Yeah, because we can really spend a lot of time. I mean, I'm sure this painting, doing this painting would take a long time, but we're going to just do a quick sketch. All right, we got people dropping out. So let's do this real quick. Uh, chat, Tanuga. Pick up the pace here. Bam, capture, capture the flag, send it out. Do it one more time without the lines. And then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sketch it out really quick. Let's see, annotate. So, oh, capture screenshot. Man, capture. All right, stop share. That's it. All right, here we go. Ooh. Let's do this. All right, here we go. I've got uh, my oval shape, and then I've got the nose, noses, and in, in this area here. See, I can I just really quickly just get that oval shape, and then this is where that face is going to be, and in relationship to that, uh, then I've got my branches, the neck, and then it coming down at that angle here, and I can see uh, there that branch there, and then uh, the uh, the cliff, that cliff there. And then the ocean. Optical illusions. I love optical illusions. Uh, you play with all this stuff. Kind of starts off, there's three branches here. That's the going to be the one branch here. And then another branch, like right about in here. I'm just getting the placement. I'm not even worried about the accuracy. And the other uh, uh, face right in here, and it curves out. Curves back out. Those, those three. Just the placement of it. There we go. That's the placement of the... the faces of the branch and uh, should we go left to right i guess so left to right the noses are going to be yeah i got my nose line right in here right in there. there's my nose line there's my chin line right in there all right so, so this nose it's not as obvious it's a little bit more kind of like um it's not as obvious but it goes back and forth back and forth the mouth I'm doing the inside line and it comes down here and it attaches itself a little knot, a little curve out, a little curve out. Yeah, I'm almost, I'm using some of my um, blind contoured drawing skills. I use them a lot. And basically what it is, I'm, I'm observing without almost, I'm almost drawing without even looking at my paper. Here we go. Let me see. Here's, this is the branch on this side. And then it splits up here. Oh, yeah, it becomes a forehead. Uh, so I kind of lost the shape of it because that's the nose. And then it splits up here. <gasps> oh, yeah, I'm losing it. Need to drop out. All right. You're welcome. Good night. Priyanka. Good to see you. All right, there's a nose Good here. I'm, I'm... See you in here, you too. Good night. <laughs> Good night. I think I lost this angle a little bit. That's uh, okay. Yeah. Losing losing my energy. 
All right, this is the forehead. The forehead it's supposed to be a forehead. Yeah, this is there's this is there's a lot going on with this drawing. <laughs> a lot. There's all these branches, all these um leaves up in here. Yeah, there's a lot of detail. Simplify it, I hear. Let's try to simplify it. But there's a branch in here. This right where the forehead is. Um, you got one line for the forehead up, and then you've got the other one. Uh, the other branch coming over. All these little, all this, a lot of little detail. I'll try to simplify, but I'm not describing it. I'm just doing it. I'm not describing how I'm doing it. I'm just doing it. So thickening it up now, thickening up this branch. <laughs> I don't know. Wednesday's wash day around here, I guess. That's funny every time I'm, I'm down here. Because on Tuesday, they don't, I don't think people wash on Tuesday. My, uh, renters I'm trying to try to see this this branch here is, is almost um suggested it's not really as, as strong it's more of a branch I'm trying to get it to look like a branch the other branches you can really this is where it, it starts like okay here's a face that kind of looks like a face but it's a branch it's in between it's in the twilight zone it's not really quite dusk it's not really quite dawn that's how they get away with this kind of like transition and these branches over here. There's this nose that's going to be right in here. That's just a, the branch that's twisting. Oh yeah, and then the, these things themselves are kind of like eyes, the branches that kind of come out. That's pretty cool. Little branches and there's a thickness to them. I'm just starting them off as a line and then just putting the thickness. There's more than three. I'm just putting three as as my batteries wind down. This, this branch kind of twists, which is pretty cool. Makes that design that nose. And it comes out and then makes the mouth. And some more branches kind of like right in here. There we go. There's the mouth uh, division. And then we're going to continue bottom lip and chin out in and then out and back. And then down. Oof. What else is on tap? Oh, we got. I feel like we got a lot of drawing to do. Let's pick up the pace. This has a lot of detail. I'm even miss. I even miss this little this little trunk part. I'm gonna have to add it in, cut into it slightly. That's all right. Just cut into it. It's a quick little fix there. I'm going to do some shading on the branch Davidian. The shadows on the left side shading, the light is coming from the right. And the shadows on the left. And then this one, oh yeah, this is definitely a face where the nose is. This nose. We get the angles. Right, and these two angles for that nose, and then this is on the forehead. And yeah, oh yeah, that's an eye right in there. That branch, and that's the center. That's the center part. That's that center eye. I was trying to find the parts that really make it the drawing. That's that center line, and then everything else kind of just goes on it. We should do this one again sometime and make it with the faces of the three stooges. <laughs> <laughs> the Marx Brothers, if you prefer. <laughs> yeah, I've done those. Actually, I, I've done the Marx Brothers several times. The, the Three Stooges. I don't think I've. I'm, I think I might have done one cartoon of uh, the Three Stooges. Yeah, I know I've done the Marx Brothers a, a few times. I actually painted them on a. Um, somebody's a Marx Brothers fan. 
done cartoons. I've done a Marx Brothers that came out in a magazine for Pasadena City College. I did a Marx Brothers that came out uh, that I did on a on a mailbox. It was a mailbox. Painted that. See, I, I can remember. It's, it's, it's such a trip. And that was years ago. Both of those were years ago. Uh, first was it? Yeah, first it was the artwork for Pasadena City College. It was uh, the Marx Brothers. It was a uh, a tribute to old time radio. And I did I did some uh, illustrations for that in their magazine for the Pasadena City College uh, PCC's uh, radio station, which is now LAist, LA List, LAist, LAist. Kind of hard to say. It used to be PCC Radio. The magazine was called uh, Airplay. Airplay. I also I did a couple of their covers too, a couple of uh, illustrations of their covers. I won awards for for some of the stuff I did for them. Um, I also did uh, editorial cartoons for the newspaper there. As I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Go we ahead. should take take this drawing, combine it with pearls of the Beatles. Oh yeah, that would be cool too. Yeah, do the four beetles in profile as trees. Yeah. That's a great idea. Yeah, that would work. See, that's 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 awesome. Your brain's starting to get all the ideas. Trouble is we don't have time for all that. We had time, time, time. But that's it. That's the next level. Because that's once you have the idea, then you can okay, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to do it. And then you sometimes you hit it, sometimes you don't, but that's where originality comes in, right? And nothing's totally original, everything's a copy. Or but a, the a, odds of next week coming are almost a hundred percent. The odds of what coming? Next week. <laughs> you, you said we don't have time. Yeah, the odds of the next week coming is a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, week. they're um the future keeps keeps on turning. But the the pro trouble trouble is it's always now. It's always today. Never next week never gets here. Uh, tomorrow never week. comes. Tomorrow never comes. <laughs> Although this if it does, the sun will come out. <laughs> yeah, so they say. So we hope. All right, there's a lot of little branches, a lot of stuff, a lot of detail. I'm just uh, all the detail. The devil's in these details. Hey, diablos. I'm uh, I'm just uh, all right. Simplify, simplify. All right, I'm just making branches up. And the, this is where the one where the there's leaves on this branch over here. They're just little scribbles. I can actually just shade them. I can shade in the shapes. A little bit of texture, a little bit of shapes or scribbles of light and dark shadows and underneath. Mm. That's uh, branches. Oh, yeah, a lot of branches. I ain't going to worry about it. You get the idea. That's it. And that kind of bl blocked it down, broke it down somewhat. Thanks for the drawing. The three faces, they look great, great. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a quite a bit. Quite a bit. And all these little branches in here now. Just getting the branches in there. And I'm missing the highlights. I am simplifying. There's highlights and shadows and more branches. But uh, we want it to look like a tree still. So we got the sh shadow on this side. We want it to look like its form. So this tree has so one side is darker. And round it out on this side too. A little bit of darkness on this side. There we go. All right. All right. All right. Let's get that cliff going. Something back here. Little mountain cliffs. Then the ocean. A little reflection in rocks, little scribbles. Ooh, these trees back here being blown in the wind. Like a little pear shape, a little pair, a little pair of pears. 
pear trees. Pear tree and a partridge. Partridge and a pear tree. And a little bit of shading. All right, I'm just going to scribble it in and try to get some form on it and shading a little bit more on one side than the other. Get that little trunk in there. There, truncated. That's it. A little cliffs. So much detail. <laughs> this has so much detail. Uh, right, just get those cliffs in there. Get that shading in there. Top of this. Oh, yeah, this has a lot more uh, like a cliff in here. And then it goes off. All this should be dark because it's a whole different side. All right, and the top part is a little bit darker right up in here as it goes down. Woo! All right, how many people we got? Uh, 10. 10. Ah, 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 ah. Hardcore heroes. Oh, you know what? I thought I saw an old hardcore hero. She signed up, actually signed up and didn't make it. Um, uh, I won't say her name. Say her name. All right, there it is. It's kind of faked it. I'm not that great. What else we got? Let's see if anything moves me. <laughs> let's see. We got people here, so let's see. I'll take requests. Let me see. Uh, oh, something just rock up. All right, you're welcome, Ine. Long time. Oh, the turtle, turtle, turtle. <laughs> that turtle's cute. Oh, we got all this. Oh, Oregon coast stuff. Very beautiful. Oh, man, got to travel up there. Oh, we got a lot of, oh, man, there's a lot of, and those are kind of like, um. I'm, I'll share my screen. Those are kind of uh, zentangles down here zentangle designs yeah, I, I threw some in late since someone was talking about oh yeah, girl was talking about how enjoyable zentangles were so i threw some in yeah some zentangle designs these are fun and someone wanted to do a beach scene so i threw some beaches in that person's here I'm so you, for you to look at for next um, there's a bird too we didn't do the birds two hour class how to draw birds two hour class we're even here for three hours this is this is a picture of a bird. I take wow. some of the classes from that hike and draw. Oh yeah, yeah. But, that, oh, but they they charge money though. Oh, <laughs> wow! Hike and draw, charging money. But yeah, good. good yeah, good. so it's it's two hours just on the one bird. Oh really? Wow. I, I feel like it would be, I don't know, it would be too much. I, I, well, I mean, we can sketch it out and then we could do that. I mean, that wouldn't be a problem. Spend two hours on one bird. But I, I, think, well, people, I think you get more practice and more out of sketching. Really. Yeah, I just put that up in case anyone was interested in looking at what Hike and Draw has to offer. Uh, I, hike and Draw. I, I, hike, hike and Draw yeah. dot NYC, New York City. Yeah. New York City, get a rope. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cute bird. I That's... love that commercial. <laughs> oh, you remember it, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Pick up the pigs. <laughs> All right, we got our turtle here. Turtle, turtle, little squirt. All right, so we got the circle head. Look at that. Right in there. Bam. So we got the circle head, and then you got the oval eyes kind of popping out. And even even uh, the, these uh, shapes here too. Let me see. Uh, get that. Let's move it. And got to move it. Move it. Oh, that's good. Right. Let in me there. know if you like any of those beach scenes for next week. Uh, if not, I'll just take a camera and shoot what's in front of my house. Ooh. Oh. Wow. That'd be neat. Oh, uh, it's all good. I don't know. Uh, oh, oh. Wow. What happened? Whoa, I, I lost everybody for a second. Uh, are we still here? Are we still on? Hello? I'm Can here. You... Oh, okay, good. Oof, I lost everybody for a second. All right, so the roundness of this back, notice it, th this roundness goes on that curve. It's really bigger, and then it curves out. And then here, let's see, I wonder if I can bring this up in there a little bit. 
a little bit in there, curves out on that curve. So we got that. You can see more of angles here, but it is it is on this on this curve here. So we got that, that, and then we've got um, the shapes of the uh, the legs. Again, you want to see these big shapes, these big shapes. I, I can I I almost put this together as one here, that like that. And this just curves out. Notice that just curves out. And this is almost a straight line right in there. Almost. Bring it out a little bit. Okay, there's a little bit of a curve in there. See, that's what that's how compound they are. These compound shapes. But you know, I can kind of I can kind of see this and then this there. Like they've simplified. But it is more of an oval shape. There's a little bit of a pull on it to make it oval, oval. But it's straight engine, straight, straight lines help. Straight lines see this whole big old curve right here, but straight lines help um, see the shapes. The curves can confuse. The curves can confuse. Don't let those curves confuse. And then one really last important line is this axis line. There's a slight angle to that axis line right in there. There's a slight angle to that. There. There it is. I'm going to do this one really quick. See how it turns out. Let's uh, chat, chat, chitty chat. Okay. All right. Ooh. Oh, you know what? I can't screenshot. Oh, it's because she's gone. There we go. I can screenshot now. All right. Somebody sent me a message. Message in a bottle. Oh. All right. Last drawing for the night. Nine o'clock. Let's do this really quick. It's going to be a really quick one. All right, let's uh, stop share. I'm going to draw this really fast. See how fast I can do it. You know what? Well, thanks for you for joining us. We're just going to just, I'm just going to go all out. See how fast I can draw here. Let's see how, time me, time me. It's, uh, well, it's 9.03, I guess. But I'm going to see, do this fast. Here we got my head. Right in there, there's my head. There's my body. I'm noticing how smaller and lower. Right in there. You get the arms coming out right in that center. There's that triangle almost a slight angle this way that way this angle here and you got this other leg that's going to come out here this the there we go this whole bottom of that turtle and we got this other shape over here and um this other triangle here see this this other leg right in here right in there that's pretty cl close that's pretty close I think that's pretty good for the whole blocking in of that whole shape. Then we got a slight angle here on this axis line. We got one eye here. One eye. Oops, get the center. One eye over here. Q, Q, squirt. It's right there. And then another line, another line. The mouth right about in here. Big old smile. What else? Cheek. There's going to be a cheek on this side and another cheek on this side coming out of that circle. These eyes kind of come out as well. They bulge. And then we got the, uh, oh yeah, got the eyebrows. These eyebrows stick out a little bit right in there. And that's it. All right, let's do this. Let's. I'm going to zoom in on the head. All right, have a good night. Thank you for joining us again. There we go. All right, here we go. All right, this is the top of the head. One brow, two brows. The, this, this, this eye here really pops out from here to here. You can see it kind of pop, then it comes in. Let's see how far in it comes. This is actually in here. Let me see. Getting these inside lines. I'm getting the space in here. Getting the space. It comes down a little further. This one this way. Getting that. And then getting this the way this eye really pops out right in there. That roundedness. Trying to make it solid, solid shape. And big deal. And over here, another solid shape. And trying to capture that space in there. 
as well as the angle. And let's see, the shape of the eyes, the way they pop, they bulge. Right in there, they pop and bulge. So it's a little steeper angle. And then they do have like, a, I don't know, like little sockets, a little socket kind of like wrapping around that eyeball. Little socket, like right in here, like right in there, that's a little socket. And then now the eyes are centered. A little bit of a wrinkle on this side. Eye centered, like right in here. There's one right in there. Then another one over here. I'm trying to get them to line up, maybe a little bigger. Sketch that, sketch that. See the big shape. There, there's the eyes. Not too bad, not too shabby. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go darker. Now there's a lot of detail and stuff with these eyes. But this is the shape. This is how it fits in there. Then you've got the pupil, the dark part of the eye. And it's centered closer to the middle. Right in there. And it's all dark. Then actually, there's a little bit of a highlight underneath. I'll put, keep that highlight and a little bit of a highlight up here. But all here, let's just darken all this. The highlights make it look shiny. And a little bit of shade on this, uh, the iris. Iris, a little bit of an iris shape. It gets darker as it comes down here, too. So there we go. There's one eye. Here's the other eye. Get that other eye in here. Iris. And then the pupil. And the uh, bottom also has a little bit of a highlight. This highlight isn't totally white. It's slightly shaded. There it is. But it's in there. Oh, kind of like my puppy eyes. My puppy eyes are, are the, the highlights are not not totally white. My puppy eyes, look at that. They're off white on this painting. Oh, did I? I didn't share this painting. Did I? No, I don't think I did. This painting I'm working on. It's a little rough. <laughs> sit, Ubu. Sit. Good. All right. Let's get this other eye in. <laughs> I need my lap crack. <laughs> All right, here we go. Well, the question is, are we still recording? I might have, I know we had a little little thing that went out. Let me see. Oh, no, it's still recording. We are still recording. All right. All right, little, um, little twist on the mouth, a little twist on the mouth, and then the center. There it is. I'm not happy with this eye. It's not live. I'm not really capturing a highlight. That's okay. And there's little shadows too. This there's there's shading and stuff on this drawing. I am simplifying it. All right, let's get these cheeks in here. Right in here. And then they go around. And then the chin. Something up with that eye. That's okay. Just, I just have to let it go. Let it go. I did the best I could. Did the best I could. I did the best. There we go. There's a line right here, and then the cheek sticks out. Oh yeah, that's it's all right. Here's a neck. There's, there's oh look at this. So this is um like a little thing there, getting the shape. See, I'm, I'm what I'm doing here. I'm looking at here, and then I'm and then I'm adding it. This these angles here. I know this kind of curves a little bit. Down here is a little bit of a curve, so it's not so straight. But I can add the curve now. It curves here, and then it straightens out. And then this side pulls, and there was that angle there. Oh, let me see that whole shape. Now I can go in here and kind of like put the little rocks and stuff that I kind of see in there. Rocks are this side smoother. It's got a little texture, kind of like little edges. And then this side just smooth. One angle and then another angle. A little bit of overlapping right in there. A little bit of a joint or something right in here. Look at that. Bam. And we got one, two. Oh, I'm just going to scribble them in. Not even accurate. I'm just going to. Let's wind this up. There's that one, that one. This other one. Right in here, right in there. 
this side curves right there. Right in there. Look at that. And then it curves up in and out, a little twisting, twisting, in and out, almost the way up down here. Trying to capture that shape. And all this is shaded. There's shade in here. A little bit of shading. Make it look so easy, huh? So easy. And this is the thickness of this line. I can go back in here a little bit thicker, a little harder. And then it actually goes darker. I can go dark in here, go really dark, and then just as I'm shading down, just lighten it up as it comes out. It's a gradient. This is a gradient. It's gradient, a gradient, gradation, gradual change. All right, let's get this. Um, let's get this turtle shell in here. Turtle shell, turtle, turtle. It kind of curves out and then does stick out on the side. A little bit of a point, but then it goes around our uh, circle here. We drew right around there. Right, yeah, that turn that shell shape. Then, yeah, I'm gonna simplify again. There's a lot, there's but it kind of goes on here, it kind of goes on this line, and then uh, the, these other little bumps. I mean, yeah, no. there you go. Yeah, I'm kind of simplifying. That's like almost like little, these are almost like little circles in here, but they do curve. I mean, the, the edges. There's more to them, but uh, let's simplify. A little bit in there. I like that. Because yeah. they're not, not ovals. They're more like little sh scales. They, they're like scales. They feel like scales. So that's the shell. Then you got a little underbelly. And then the back leg. And then we're done. That was pretty quick. That's, uh oh, eight minutes. Eight minutes. I think this is an yeah, eight-minute drawing. Not too bad, not too shabby. I wonder how long it took them to do. This is eight minutes. Eight minutes. And it's okay if it takes you longer. We'll post this up tomorrow. And uh, all right, you're welcome. Good night. There's a little bit of a wrinkle back here. There's uh, two, little, two little wrinkles, like an ankle or something. And then it attaches. And then again, uh, little shapes. Just they're like these shapes in here. I'm just kind of scribbling them in. Yeah, it's actually it's really good actually to scribble them in. That's not bad actually. You can scribble them in. It's it gets a good feel of what these shapes are. I'm just they're like little shapes and I'm just scribbling them in. Oh, there it is. This is scribbled in too. Shaded in. All right, man. A little bit of shade on my shell. I'm gonna shade. There we go. There we go. Ooh, on his head, forehead too. A little alien kind of uh, shapes up on the forehead. And that's it, I believe. I believe I can fly. All right, you're going to call it a night. There it is. Squirt, little squirt. Thing. Not too shabby. Yeah, you can clean it up. You can add more. You can color it, shade it. Try to get it more accurate than I did. But it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Head, body, head, shoulder, knees, and toes. All right. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, we're going to stop the recording. I should have like an ending. Dun, 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 dun. Sketchbook heroes and sketchbook warriors. Good night.